Dr. Redfield, the British ambassador, told me yesterday that government studies in the United Kingdom said that based on serology testing that 5 to 25 percent of their country's population, depending on the location, has been exposed to COVID-19. What does what about the American population? How many of us uh, have been uh, infected by uh, by COVID-19? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, CDC is in the process of a very large uh, um, sequential study across the entire United States measuring serology. As I mentioned, uh, the preliminary results in the, in the first round show that uh, a majority of our nation, um, more than 90 percent of the population, remains susceptible. Uh, it varies in different geographic parts from states that have less than 1 percent with evidence of previous infection to uh, some that have more, uh, more than 15, 20, and one as high as 24 percent. We'll have that finalized and probably published in the next week or so, but it does show that a majority of Americans are still susceptible to this virus. So just so I understand, you're, you're saying that based on the preliminary indications from your serological testing and studies, that as many as 90 percent of Americans are still, still haven't had the virus yet? Yes, sir. Thank you, Dr. Redfield. Hey, everyone. How are you doing today? It is September 24th, 2020, and this is coming from CNBC's Health and Science. So CDC director says more than 90% of Americans remain susceptible to the CV. Okay, this was published yesterday. It says... A majority of the U.S. remains susceptible to a CV infection, Dr. Robert Redfield, director of the CDC, told lawmakers Wednesday. CV19 has spread across America at varying rates since it crossed U.S. shores in January, infecting as much as 15 to 20 percent of the population in some states, in less than 1 percent in others, he said. One state said almost a quarter of its residents have had the CV sometime this year, he added. You know, if this thing was so deadly like they've been telling you, how can it be that fluctuated, right? If it's so powerful, so infectious, you know, so deadly that, you know, we have to worry about and do everything we're doing right now. Um, and then you see this from 20% down to 1%. There's no chance that it would be that much of a variance if this thing was truly as powerful as they say. He said the CDC is in the process of a very large study that seeks to more precisely determine how widely the virus is spread across the country. The rate of infection is important because epidemiologists think infection generally conveys some immunity against the virus for at least a few months. The preliminary results in the first round show that a majority of our nation, more than 90% of the population, remains susceptible, he said at a Senate hearing hosted by the Committee on Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions. A majority of Americans are still susceptible. Like how they had to say that twice, too. I think maybe that's the agenda they're pushing right here. The CV has infected more than 6.8 million people across the U.S., or roughly 2% of the U.S. population, according to data compiled by the one the only Johns Hopkins University and the U.S. Census Bureau. Hmm, that's kind of funny to me. Why is the U.S. Census Bureau in on telling us how many people are infected? Why would they have anything to do with that? Maybe because they're all in on this, and that's why these people are showing up to your door like they did mine? Oh yeah, there's a lot more behind this census thing. <sighs> However, the true speed of the virus is likely much higher. Redfield has previously said as many mild and asymptomatic cases go undiagnosed. The comments cast even greater doubt on the feasibility of achieving so-called herd immunity, which is reached when enough of the population has developed immunity against the virus so that it cannot efficiently spread. Hmm, so what do you get out of that? Nothing works except our vax, right? <laughs> Most scientists say 60 to 80 percent of the population need to be vaccinated or develop antibody through natural infection to achieve herd immunity. 
Critics of business closures and public health restrictions meant to curb the spread of the virus have pointed to herd immunity without a vaccine as a potential solution to the pandemic. However, WHO officials and many other epidemiologists have criticized the strategy because it would likely lead to widespread disease and death. Take our vax or else. Can you hear it? They're repeating it. I hear it. White House CV advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Not saying the second part. I'm so sick of reading that part. They have to put that up there every single time to try to give him credibility. Said last month that allowing the virus to spread without control to achieve herd immunity would bring the death toll to a level that's totally unacceptable. If you look at the United States of America with our epidemic of obesity, as it were, with the number of people with hypertension, with the number of people with diabetes, if everyone got infected, the death toll would be enormous and totally unacceptable. He used that same statement twice. Redfield's comments on Wednesday came one day after U.S. CV19 death toll topped 200,000. According to data from Hopkins, 200,000, okay, even if you go off their number, 200,000 in nine months. I mean, this is, you, you can get these numbers up as high as you want as long as you just continue to keep running the ticker. Just keep running it month by month until, you know, who knows, as long as you want, because the higher number you want, just run it longer. Further, complicating the herd immunity approach is the matter of how antibodies against the CV behave. The body typically develops antibodies to help the immune system fight off infections. Health officials have said there is not enough data yet to indicate that CV antibodies ensure immunity against the virus or to determine how long any protection might last. You know, all you hear out of this over and over again is that there is only way one way to do this, and that is to vaccinate everyone. And they are going to push this over and over again. You're hearing the push for the flu shot. You're hearing, you know, the push for testing. This is uh, really, really building, and you can um, you can see it. You can see it coming, you know. All right, we'll leave this one here. Uh, I have two more I'm working on, so I'm going to hurry, try to get those done for you, and uh, we will go on to the next story, and we'll continue to share this information and do the best that we can to stop these ones that are in power from getting away with everything that they are doing. We'll talk to you all real soon. God bless.